system okay so let's take the problem So our problem is to use the using the Nyquist criteria, we have to find out whether the system is stable or not. And the transfer function is given to us as Gs Hs equals to S upon S plus 1. So let's try to solve this problem. For plotting the Nyquist plot, the first step is to put this S equals to j omega so our first step is put s equals to j omega so this gs hs it will become g j omega h j omega and s it will be replaced by j omega so it will become j omega upon j omega plus one okay so our transfer function has been converted from the S domain to the frequency domain that is G J omega and H J omega. Now in the second step we are going to find out the magnitude and the phase angle of this transfer function that is G J omega and H J omega for this we are going to find out the magnitude and the phase angle equations. So magnitude of gj omega hj omega will be represented by m and it is given by okay so magnitude will be here we have j omega so it will be omega upon under root of omega squared plus 1 okay so it is the magnitude of this transfer function now phase angle that is phi it will be given by phase angle of g j omega h j omega okay so phase angle we will have this phase angle will be tan inverse of omega upon zero minus tan inverse of omega upon one Okay, because here the imaginary part is omega and real part is 0. Here imaginary part is omega and real part is 1. So this is our phase. So phi will be equals to, this will become tan inverse of infinity. Okay, and tan inverse of infinity is 90 degrees. So phi phase angle, it will be 90 degrees minus tan inverse of omega okay so this is our magnitude equation and this is our phase angle equation now we will vary the value of omega from 0 to infinity that is omega varies from 0 to infinity okay so for various values of omega between these two 0 to infinity we will calculate the magnitude and the phase angle and then we are going to plot the polar plot for this system so let's form a table here we are having the table Our transfer function is what? S upon S plus 1. This. Now vary the value of omega. First we will put omega equals to 0. Then omega equals to 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 1, 
So these are the different values of omega. Now for omega equals to zero, the magnitude put here, magnitude equals to zero. So it will be zero upon zero plus one. Okay, so the magnitude will be here, zero. And in phase angle, if we are going to put here zero, then 90 degrees minus tan inverse of zero, that is zero degrees. So phase angle will be 90 degrees. Similarly, for various values of omega, that is 0 0.1, 0 0.3, if we put here 0 0.1, that it is 0 0.1 upon under root of 0 0.1 square plus 1. So magnitude will be approximately 0 0.099, that is 0 0.1. And if here we are going to put 90 minus tan inverse of 0 0.1, so phase angle will come out to be 84.3 degrees. If we put 0 0.3, then it will be 0 0.3 upon under root of 0 0.3 square plus 1. And here 90 minus tan inverse of 0 0.3. So magnitude will be 0 0.3 approximately and phase angle is 73 degrees. For 1, we have 1 upon under root of 1 plus 1, that is root 2. So 1 upon root 2. And here 90 degrees minus tan inverse of 1, that is 45 degrees. So 90 minus 45, it will be 45 degrees. And the magnitude will be 0 0.71. Similarly, we will find out the magnitude and phase angle for other values of omega. So it will be. So, for different values, it will come out to be for 2.0, it is 0 0.9. And for omega equals to infinity, if we put it in the magnitude equation, omega equals to infinity, then it comes out to be tan inverse of infinite, uh, that is 90 degrees. Here, if we put infinity, then magnitude will come out to be infinity upon 1 plus infinity. Okay, so magnitude will be equals to 1 here. And uh, the phase angle, 90 degrees minus tan inverse of infinity. So 90 minus 90, it will be 0 degrees. So we have uh, obtained the magnitude and the phase angle for different values of omega. Now, for using these values, we are going to plot the polar plot of the system. Okay, so polar plot will be this is our imaginary axis, this is real axis. We will divide the real axis and choose a proper scale because magnitude we have to plot on the real axis. So it is 0. 0 0.1 point 0.2 point 0.3 point okay magnitude we we have divided this according to the magnitudes we have obtained and then now we are going to plot all the magnitudes and the phase angle. Magnitude is represented by concentric circle on the polar plot and phase angle is represented by the radial lines. So for omega equals to 0, magnitude is 0 and phase angle is 90 degree. This is plus 90 degree. This is 0 degrees and this is minus 90 degrees. So for omega equals to 0, magnitude is 0 and phase angle is also 0. So this is our point. Now for omega equals to 0 0.1, magnitude is 0 0.1 and phase angle is 84.3 degrees. So 84.3, we are going to draw the radial line for this angle. Next angle is 73 degrees. So 73 degrees, we are going to plot here. The positive phase angles in the polar plot, they are measured anti-clockwise. So in this direction, we are going to measure it 0 to 90 degrees. So 73 degrees we have plotted. Then we have 45 degrees. So this is 45 degrees. Then 34 degrees. And then we have 11 degrees. And then for 
omega equals to infinity the magnet angle is 0 degree and magnitude is 1 so this is the point for 84.3 degrees we have magnitude 0 0.1 for 73 0 0.3 so we are going to plot all the points here this is 0 0.1 0 0.3 for 45 degrees we have magnitude as 0 0.71 then 34 degrees then 11 degrees we have plotted all the points marked all the points on it okay then join these points We have joined all the points here. So, this is the polar plot. Now, for the, and it is the direction of this polar plot starting from omega equals to 0 to omega equals to infinity. Write the frequencies over this also 84.3 omega equals to 0 0.1, omega equals to 0 0.3, 1. Okay, and this is omega equals to infinity. Now, to draw the polar, uh, the Nyquist plot, we will draw the mirror image of this plot. Okay, so this is the Nyquist plot of the system. And it is a magnitude we have drawn here, and it is the point minus one plus j zero. Okay. Now for uh, checking this stability, we have to see that number of encirclements of the, uh, this point minus one plus j zero. As the Nyquist plot, it is not encircling this point minus one plus j zero, so n will be equals to zero for this case. For checking the stability, we will use the equation n equals to p minus z. n is the number of encirclements of the point minus 1 plus j0 and here n is equals to 0. p is the number of poles which are lying on the right hand side of the s plane and here because our transfer function is s upon s plus 1 so our pole will be s equals to minus 1 it is lying on the left hand side and uh, there is no pole which is lying on the right hand side so p will be equals to 0 so from this equation z comes out to be 0 so we are having n equals to 0 as there is no encirclement P is 0, Z is 0. So if P is equals to 0 and Z is also equals to 0, then the closed loop system and the open loop system is stable. That is open loop stability system is open loop stable and closed loop stable. Both stability is present. So, in this problem, we have uh, drawn the Nyquist plot of the transfer function and then we have checked the stability of the system using this equation n equals to p minus, p minus z and we have found out that the system is both closed loop stable and open loop stable. So, I hope this problem is clear to you. Thank you.